them badly in terms of his running lines. Wilkinson restarts. Brucock tries to get there, but he's beaten to it by Geno. Now it's Cusseter to Wilkinson, and this is a chance for the Lions with Cusseter. Took a blow there, did well. Morgan was up with that attack. Cusseter again to Wilkinson. Murphy. He's got Hickey outside. And he's tackled by Boza. Pablo Boza was there. Great work. Nine years involved in the Argentina side, and he has every reason to believe that this could be one of his greatest nights. Great work from the second row. But the Lions won a ball there, and Johnny Wilkinson made a superb break. Before that, then he's throwing out the ball to Murphy. And Boza tracks across and nails Dennis Hickey. First restart, the Lions had won. Moody cleared it up. Then you got the Lions attacking. What a messy line out. Let's look at this break from Johnny Wilkinson. Well, he's got himself one on one with Mario Ledesma, and that's what he wants. It's a half break, and it's a good offload there to Cusseter. But it came because they actually won a restart there, got some ball. Don't touch him, nine, stay out. Referee deciding to reset the scrum. Just crouch and hold. He's also decided to go over to the far side to check on the binding and the pushing over there. Well, Reggiardo has been heroic, you know. Keep it up, arms up. Stay out half. Cut it up. Wilkinson. Another shimmy from Wilkinson. And again, it gets the, the Lions well across the uh, gain line. And he gets them a penalty as well. Early tackle. Lots to like in Johnny Wilkinson's running game at the moment. Somebody, tackled, this man was early. Grabbed him early. Yeah. Kicked his goals, must take three points here. We saw signs of that running game, didn't we, when he played in the wildcard semi-final in the English Premiership. Oh, yeah. Newcastle against Gloucester. Well, this is what he was working on in sort of the year 2001-2002. Oh, he takes a high one there still, it's a physical game. And Johnny Wilkinson will always rise from that, and he'll get plenty more treatment like that in New Zealand. But I think he's going very well with the ball in hand. He's Some of his kicking loose in the first half, and still, despite what people may say, there are question marks about his tackling, but he's looking sharp going forward. Of that there is no doubt, and he's kicking his goals. In 2004 and 2005, he's been working with the Leeds Rhinos on exactly that kind of foot movement. This time he just solidly plants his right foot to be able to swing that famous left. Three points the difference. Who is going to end on the winning line here? Wilkinson's been responsible for a lot of Lions points, you know. The little shimmy for the Ollie Smith try, his own dart there, and he's kicking the goals. Thomas Genie restarts. Martin Corry. Oh, good tackle. Got low, didn't he? Shusterman took him out. This is Wilkinson. Store Tony and Nunes Piersek. Yes, for once, getting it wrong. But still time because of the length of the kick. And that's a pretty long response from Nunes Piersek to Wilkinson. And that exchange, no doubt, Argentina will feel that they are the winner. Oh, definitely point to Argentina there. Fantastic goal kicking tonight. Six out of six for Johnny Wilkinson, but frankly... Todashini, no fault of Wilkinson's, he only kicks what he's given to kick, but Todashini has kicked seven from seven, and they have been from all parts. Of course, in Quesada, they have had one of the world's best fly-half goal kickers for many years, but this guy's got a bit more pace to his game, he looks a good number. Yes, he's in front of Quesada now in the Argentina ranks. And he could be for some time. On the ev evidence of this performance... a blue man, then a red man. He's had okay. successful kicks against Japan, but the Lions 
a different proposition and he's held his nerves superbly. Argentina are about to make a change in their back row. Santiago Sanz is about to come on, he's stripped off on that far side. I must say in their back row as well, Schusterman, the Plymouth man, has played mightily well as well. They grease them on. Solid effort from their pack, more than solid, excellent. Wilkinson to Murphy, and here's Darcy. Oh, that's a penalty. Holding on. <laughs> as clear as night follows day. <laughs> it wasn't Jordan Murphy, it was uh, Jordan Darcy. But again, Lisandro Arbizu and Contopomi in centre have tackled ever so well. Darcy's quick, but he's just not getting away from the veteran captain. Tackle made. He wants the support there. One thing I will say in Darcy's defence there is there were not many Lions support men there. When they moved it wide, it didn't get numbers. Murphy was the only one threatening. And Steve Thompson is coming on for Shane Byrne. Argentina just holding that substitution that they were planning. The Lions are going to make another one with Ben Kay. Replacing Donica O'Callaghan. And I think, Miles, as we near 70 minutes, we have to say we're 10 minutes or so away from what would be one of the greatest shots in the history of Test Match Rugby. This is not the Lions Test Team, but Argentina are decimated. They're 10 minutes away from a great result. Here's Wilkinson to try and prevent that from happening, Horgan. Williams. Referee playing advantage for the high tackle, as he indicates. And that's the penalty. So Argentina, 10 minutes away from one of their greatest and proudest moments in what has been a, already a tremendous night for them so much for their coaching staff to have gained from all of this this is the penalty for the high tackle on Williams from Mendes but now they've got so close and been in front for so long and all credit to Freddy Mendes yes he went high with the penalty it was a tired surge but Mendes has worked so hard. Well, we're hearing that Donico Callahan should not have been the man who was taken from the field, and he is now coming back on to replace Grucock, who was the man that they wanted to take off, so the wrong number was held up, and that caused the confusion. <laughs> Lions' mistakes on the pitch, and now we're getting them on the bench as well. Good start for Kay. Solid take. Cut it up to Wilkinson. Darcy. Cusseter's Moody punished. and Corey trying to get in there. Cusseter again. Wilkinson. Murphy. There's a crucial minutes now for the Lions. It will determine in many ways how they feel when they get on that plane. They do not want to get on the plane already having lost a match and there's a charge down Corey tries to get in there again all of this happening with Argentina a man down on the floor but Martin Corey knew nothing of that he just had eyes for Contopomi and that's a, a fine physical effort from Corey great work there but it's tough on Argentina isn't it because Todashini is down lying on the floor. He's a quicker clearer of a ball than Contopomi, and that's why the Lions got the charge down. Corey just pursued what was in front of him. Leguizamon did awfully well to bail Argentina out, but that was directly because of the star fly half down at the moment. Of course, if the Lions do lose, it will not be without precedent I remember 1971 Fiji beat a Barbarians team that was almost man for man the Lions team that went on to win the test series in New Zealand so it's not the end of the world as you saw there Santiago Sanz is on Manuel Carissa is on as well just 20 years of age and trying to close out a victory against the British and Irish Lions 
Todeschini is going off and this is a sad sight because he has contributed so much to tonight's proceedings, Federico Todeschini. And coming on will be Lucio Lopez Fleming for Argentina.